Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are so thankful today to have with us the talented actress Allison Goldfarb and the wonderful director Bianca Paletti, who I've had the pleasure of seeing her new short film that's debuting at South by Southwest. It's called Radical Honesty. Say hello, ladies. Hello. Hi. All right. And Bianca, happy to can be you? Here. Oh, thanks. I'm glad you're happy to be here. I'm ecstatic to be here. Could you tell a little bit about what the film is about, the short film? Yeah, um, I'll actually let Allison take the reins for this since she wrote it. Perfect. Yeah, I was going to say she wrote it. So yeah, she would know yeah. the best, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, it's kind of a simple premise. It's a, it's a date between two people meeting on a dating app, but it's kind of exploring um, this idea of wanting to do relationships in a different way um, and kind of using people who may like use this language of liberation for means of manipulation uh, to get what they want rather than a genuine desire to to really uh, try something radical and new. Okay, and I love that. I love that it explores modern relationships because I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, when that table, that scene opens up on the table and you guys start talking, we've all been there in 2023. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Have. Yeah. And I can tell you, it doesn't happen to just you ladies out there. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> You've had that happen before? Real oh story? my <laughs> god. I, I go into that, but we only have 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other time. <laughs> yeah, that, that, so I can, the, the, when I saw the film and, and where, where it went, I'm like, well, yeah, no, been there. Hate that. <laughs> Hate every second of that. Uh, yeah. Now, Bianca, this isn't the first time you've worked with Allison, is that right? Right, yeah. We actually met, um, so I cast her in a music video for King Pari called Mary. Um, and we just got along so well and she's such an amazing actress and has such a great vibe and, um, and yeah, and then she sent me this script and I just absolutely loved it. And we have a lot of, uh, similarities as far as like our vibe goes, I feel like in aesthetics and, um, and what we're interested in exploring in humans and, and like subtle humor and things like that. Um, so yeah, and we did the short and it worked out so well. I definitely watched the music video because they sent me a link to your website where it had all your work on it. Um, I definitely nice. checked it out. Uh, I've also seen that Planned Parenthood commercial you did. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. Thank uh, you. Thank you. Allison, this is your first time writing, yeah? It is. Yes. Um, that came out good, man. That's a great first step to start with. <laughs> nicely <Seven minutes>, done. <laughs> short, concise, to the point. Well done. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, I've been writing all my life, but this is my first screenplay. And I just feel so lucky that you know, I got Bianca on board to do it and just like the synergy, that's my cat, sorry. The synergy <laughs> between the two of us just like really locked it in. Yeah, I, I, I got to tell you, you had great chemistry with uh, John there, John Hine, I believe is his name, uh, yeah. who, who plays yeah. man yeah. to your woman across the table mm -hmm. in this one. He's, he's really, really like, I get why you'd want to go on a date with him. He's a handsome fella, but... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got creeper vibes the whole time from that script. I'm like, why would you even <laughs> want to take amazing. him home in the first place? Oh my god! Really leaned yeah. into the character. No. Yeah, I'm sure. My whole thing with that was like, I was like, you deserve better, baby girl. Get you better. <laughs> That's how I felt oh, the whole man. time. Now, uh, th no, seven minutes. I I love that our interview is going to be uh, twice as long as the shortest. Um, <laughs> which I find that, that that is a strange, ironic twist. Um, so let's let's get into this a little bit more. Let's start with you, Bianca. Obviously, you've done some great work. You've even worked with a, a young lady who's been doing a lot of features, and I had the pleasure of interviewing last year, Sophia Ali, in one of your other shorts. Oh, she's one of my best friends. I love her. You interviewed uh, her? I did for uh, India Sweets and Spices. She is yeah. the sweetest. She liked my hair. She's cool. Is, I love hair <laughs> Amazing. Yep, hair is uh, on point. Thank um, you. That's Hard work. So cool. Yeah, <laughs> no, it, it was. Uh, she was a sweet, sweet woman. Very, very cool. Uh, she thinks she thinks I'm. Yeah. Uh, she said that I think she's cooler than she actually is, but I disagree. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, but she's naturally your, very chill. Your body of work is fantastic. You have lots of music videos under yeah. you, and, and everything that you're doing feels fresh, but also feels like very 2022. There's not a lot of callbacks oh, or, to to your references. So I wanted to ask you, as a director, who are some people that you look to as references? Yeah, um, you know, 
tonally, I um, I love P.T. Anderson. Obviously, I love all of you know who doesn't. I feel like that's one that like everyone is obsessed with. But um, him, I would say for sure, and his way of like using subtle humor and things that are very serious, I really like. I love aesthetically the seventies and the sixties, and he taps into that a lot as well in like California. So definitely a lot of inspiration from him. Um, Agnes Varda, I love just beauty wise. Everything is like a painting. Every frame is interesting. Um, and a lot of photographers too, because I came from photography. So visually, I always kind of uh, lean from inspiration, you know, from like Todd Hiddo, I love very much. And his photos are like paintings and, um, and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I'd say PTA is probably the biggest influence. And most recently, Mike White, I'm just obsessed with after White Lotus. So tonally, I just love, again, the like awkward humor and, um, and playing around with conversations that can happen that are so simple, but can be so funny and uncomfortable to watch. And I, I just love that stuff. So I'm yeah. catching your vibe. Uh, just good. based on that answer, I'm catching your vibe. PTA, also <laughs> yeah. a really good music video director. Yeah. Oh my God. And Spike Jones, obviously her was incredible. A lot of inspo from just him in general, but also a music video director we, at the beginning. Yeah. We can't discuss Spike Jones because like, that's my favorite director. And we did a whole <laughs> hour podcast just on his work. Oh, we did a whole hour podcast. Nice. So that reminds me guys, nice. if you guys haven't checked out our podcast, do it. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm plugging myself in my own interview, but uh, no, Bianca, I get it. You got some great influences. PTA is, in, is freaking incredible. So great, great yeah. picks. I love, I love that. Allison, as a writer, as an actress, who are you looking to as inspirations? Um, you know, I really love uh, Greta Gerwig. Like for me, she's kind of like the ultimate like writer, actress, director. Bianca and I have spoken about this. Like I watched Frances Ha and just like every line of that film, I was like, oh, it's me. <laughs> um, but yeah, just kind of like, really taking inspiration from everyday life and just kind of like the awkwardness of being a human, trying to connect with people. Um, she's definitely a big one for me. I love that I, because I think there's something to what you're saying. Everything she does tends to be, even even Little Women, is ba even though it's based on a really old book, there's a sense of now in everything she does. You know, like we're in a time and yeah. place, but that time and place could also be now, even though it's not, you know? Just because Absolutely. the characters feel yeah. that way. Uh, okay. it, it's, it, that's a great observation you made about Francis Hawk. Maybe you are Francis Hawk. Who knows? Maybe the film was written about you, right? <laughs> we, don't, we don't know. We don't know. So, <laughs> so I, I, I really only prepped two more questions because uh, I wanted to get really fun answers out of you guys for these two. But let's talk about this. This, this is a good date turned bad in this movie, in this short film. You guys have any awful dates you would love to tell us about? <laughs> Oh God, Allison, <laughs> I have to think on that. Um, man. Cause I feel like you wrote this as a, bi as a biography, Allison. <laughs> you know, luckily I didn't. Oh, like, thank God. It's, yeah. it's certainly <laughs> inspiration taken from my life and conversations that I've had with people and, um, you know, like my own genuine desire to kind of like find a relationship structure that is like authentic to me um luckily this has never happened to me <laughs> um and I don't like I'm like a relationship girl kind of and I, I am don't too have a lot of experience yeah. like going out on dates but a lot of my inspiration is like talking to my friends who are like on the apps and like you know I don't want to like air out anyone else's stories but I have just heard like the craziest craziest stories from them but I'm sure a lot of us men are mentally ill so yes <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah <laughs> no men are great um, I speak yeah, truth I, okay I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> um I yeah I, I agree with Allison I've actually I am a relationship person too and uh have been in back-to-back -back relationships that are pretty good and healthy but um, I have a similar thing where, yes, a lot of friends have crazy, crazy stories, uh, especially in LA, I feel like, but that's something that we're kind of elaborating um, on and in, in making this uh, potentially like a TV show and something bigger. So more of that to come for sure. I would love to see that just a series of bad dates from dating apps just put together as a TV show. 
with no, yeah. like kind of like a kind of like a a black mirror but even more horrible yeah <laughs> a black mirror version would be interesting for sure yeah. <laughs> you know like if you watch hang yeah. the dj the, the hang the dj episode of black mirror but that was for like 12 episodes oh my god dark yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that would yeah. be that's that's just dating your life you know what i mean that's just how that is yeah. um i love that yeah uh so sure. the hardest question i'm going to ask you guys today is the next one that i'm going to ask you because it is the hardest question Let's suppose something weird happens with the world and you can only watch two movies for the rest of your life. What two are you taking and why? Oh, wow. That's so rough. <laughs> yeah, this is the hardest uh, question. Yeah, man. Oh, that's so crazy. Oh, what have I seen a million times? Okay, a movie I've seen a million times. Yeah. Like throughout my life that I... I will always come back to for like comfort is lost in translation. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to piggyback on that because I totally yeah. agree. That one is so timeless, especially out of like all of her films. Yeah. Um, even though it's dark and I'm just going to go back to PTA, but Boogie Nights, I've seen a million <laughs> times. <laughs> Amazing. <Yeah>. Obsessed. <laughs> so, so brilliant. Um, and uh, an easy watch always is. I'm going to say Greta too, but Lady Bird is incredible. And I've seen that probably back to back a million times. There's so many films, but this question is very much, I feel like when someone asks you like your favorite musician, you know, your favorite like album, and then every, just like the, a couple will come to mind, but um, let's say Boogie Nights for sure. And Lady Bird for me. Okay. Those are good answers. All right. That's a dual answer. uh, That that little amalgam (laughs) for, for both of you there. I love that. It's funny Please. because if I was going to pick a PTA al- uh, film, I would probably would have picked Punch Drunk Love just because I'm a hopeless romantic. Oh, really? That's a great one too, obviously. It's so beautiful. Oh my mm-hmm. God. And Adam Sandler is so interesting too. Like in Uncut Gems, he was mm-hmm. so good. I love him in serious roles. So, so interesting. I feel like if you give him a good script, he's good. Cause like he worked with Noah Baumbach totally. in the, uh, the mirror, which yeah. like, oh, yeah, yeah. give him stuff to do. Like yeah. he's good, but when you uh, let him like rely on his own devices, you get, yeah. you know, most of his Comedy. output for the last 15 years. Yeah, 100 percent. And really for the record, my two picks would be Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And that's and, another inspo. Yeah, it's it's so good. And then it happened one night. Oh, so good. Those are solid picks. Yeah. <laughs> Alice is looking at me like, what's wrong with this guy? <laughs> no she's processing I should write that down yeah <laughs> um yeah no eternal spot it's so good so so amazing uh, yeah, and I would Carrey's pick her one of those things. yeah but I'd cry Kate Winslet well yeah that's what I'm saying like and you're right Jim Carrey's another one where if you give him a script and don't let him do his own devices he just totally. does amazing work right yeah 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 so good. he's so good he's so good yeah and I, what I what I was gonna say is I would have picked her, but it makes me cry every time, and I don't want to be sad all the time. <laughs> her as like just a general, yeah. Yeah, like that yeah. movie just every time, man. Because I'm like, man, that's the reality of being lonely, right there. Jesus. Yeah, totally with technology, and it just and visually though, it's so amazing. Oh yeah, so, oh, yeah. So all cool. the muted colors, it's just yeah. gorgeous, just gorgeous. Yeah, and the I wardrobe. Get out of here, Spike Jones, with your talent. <laughs> I mean, you know, he, he's yeah. not only is he funny, but he's a great director and he can laugh at himself because he is in the new Jackass movie, guys. Totally. Oh, is he? Yeah. Amazing. He okay. Because cool. he's Spike Jones. I love it. Now let's, let's get back <laughs> on track here. We've asked you some great yeah. questions about yourselves. And, but let me ask you, why should people check out your film? What about it makes the short this short film one to check out at South by Southwest when it premieres? I think they should check it out because it it's current. It's um, you know, it's it's about relationships. It's about the now. It's about how we are as humans now, and and dealing with technology and all of these things and finding the connection um, in a natural way. And I just think that it's it's an interesting story, and I think a lot of people would be yeah would dig it. Allison. Yeah, I mean, you know, what Bianca said, like it's. It's a very of the moment film. Um, it's like conversations that we have every day that I don't think have really been captured on film yet. Um, and I think it's like quite universal <laughs> also. I would definitely agree with you there. I love how it explores the modern 
romance and i'm using air quotes of course when i say that air romance uh, and you know what it is to be polyamorous and and how people abuse the fact that some people are actually polyamorous Mm -hmm. in in order to get what they want and i mean i saw a feature that that last year at this exact festival that dealt with with that a little bit and if you guys haven't checked that out you should it's fantastic um nice called mark and mark and mary and some other people uh, yeah, I know the DP that did that. I wanted to watch that. I yeah. think it's streaming now, right? It is. I actually interviewed the cast yeah. and I interviewed Hannah Marks, the director. They're all fucking amazing. Uh, yeah. But yeah, That's I mean, cool. I, I love when they when they can explore what it is in 2022 to, and how different it is in 2022 to be dating and to, to understand. And there's a great subtle moment. And this is what I love about your script, Allison, where he gets on the phone. I won't say what happens on the phone. That part about him getting on the phone, I'm like, that is not how that should work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah if it's really an understanding you shouldn't have to do that every single time yes exactly yeah you know and the aftermath of that I, I just think that that was wonderfully done and I think it was there's so much subtlety in what you wrote and put together I, I'm not normally the one who would cover the shorts um for this but yeah. uh I covered this one because I was like I got you no worries and it's funny <laughs> because when I see a short and I like it, I will go to the ends of the earth to make sure everyone sees it. Oh, that's awesome. And so for you guys, I will make sure that, that when this interview goes out that we tag you guys and where can people find you if they want to find Amazing. you? Yeah, yeah, on Instagram, um, at B Paletti is my handle. Mine is uh, at Al Goldfarb. Al Goldfarb. You sound like a 40 year old guy who used to play college football. <laughs> I love it. Like Al Goldfarb and I show up for <laughs> that's that's not who I expected. They're they're expecting like a very old Jewish man to show up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what they're expecting. Hello, my I name's like Al Goldfarb. <laughs> so funny i love it instead yeah. they get this uh this this young lady here uh showing up and it's like oh well, uh, super right on. Yeah, yeah that, that happens to me all the time. Trust me. They're like, what's that last name? What, what, what are you? What are you doing here? I, I, you know what? None of us know, man. Don't ask me existential questions at nine in the morning, please. I can't deal with it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been my pleasure speaking with Bianca Paletti and Allison Goldfarb about their wonderful short, Radical Honesty, which is something the world needs more of. Make sure that if you're headed to Austin for South by Southwest and you're going to be watching the shorts program that you check this one out, you tell them we sent you because honestly you're gonna laugh you're probably gonna have an existential crisis uh, because you relate to the characters too much and then you're gonna have more fun and laugh again because the ending is really funny uh that being said is there anything else you guys want to say before i let you go because uh, we're pretty much out of time um no just thanks for having us and we're super excited and yeah thanks for the good questions and chatting with us oh no worries bianca thank you allison anything yeah. no just thank you again for having us it was it was really fun to get into it and all chat together oh no worries thank you guys for having me i appreciate it and for film snob reviews this has been william and we'll see you guys next time laters